Hi, my name is Logan Thomas, and you're watching PPI. What's your card say? What is your most treasured possession? Aha, it's that binky he had when he was five. I'm telling you, it's that blanket. You rub up against that thing every night to go to sleep, don't you? See, <laughs> if I had one, I would have, but I don't think I have a treasured possession. I would have to say it's my Bible. There we go. Yeah. That's a good one. Yep. What Place would be to turn your to for the word. favorite you know? uh, Bible verse that you've turned to for inspiration? There is, there is many. Uh, but I think the one that a lot of football players obviously uh, would say is Philippians 4.13, but mine is Psalms 23, mm-hmm. and pretty much all of it, because as Spoon song. would know, it's war-tested, and, and that's basically what it talks to, and that's what we go through on a daily basis. And there's one person that can pull us out of it, and it's him. One of the things that you need to do, and, and I think one of the things that we should understand about you is, what are the other things that... Logan Thomas is about. What else is there that people don't know about you and would like to know? What are the things you're going to take forward? Yes, sir. Well, a couple of things. Most people who know me know about me is I'm a guy who's laid back, relaxed, always has a smile on, on my face, and people just really enjoy just to be around me just because I'm that way. Uh, you know, I'm not going to make anybody feel uncomfortable, uh, but when you cross into the football aspect, that's when niceness kind of goes out the door. You kind of got to be a little Terminator bit. Terminator Sunday feel, right? Yeah, exactly. But even within, even within the, in the week, you got you to gotta have a little bit of a, you know, got to hold yourself to a different yeah, exactly. standard. Hey, trust me, I've been doing yeah. it 12 years. Exactly. I, I you know how it works. I haven't, yeah. <laughs> you might have your time. Yeah, you have your time. Well, we'll get her there. She's, she's special. Yeah. So, you know, we talk about what you know, but who are the guys you looked up to coming in? You know, the... Who are the players that you said, and those guys are great, offense, defense, whatever it is, but who are the players that you respected from the start? Uh, Growing up, my favorite people to watch to play the game, just because a lot of it had to do with their passion, uh, is Brett Favre and Randy Moss. Randy Moss was that guy who would go out there and make you just laugh at what he does on the field. I played you know, with Randy, yes. I understand. Yeah, he, touchdown he, he, celebrations. <laughs> whatever it was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> touchdown <laughs> celebrations and just the pure athlete that he was. Yes. And then the, the passion Brett Favre held, running up and down the field after he threw a touchdown uh, or pick, knowing, knowing how his career <laughs> went. But there will never be another guy that had the, the success and then the failure that that guy had. You know that uh, you said that faith is very important to you. And um, it, also, I read that your mom and your stepdad were very influential and supportive in mm-hmm. helping you develop your faith and making it here. Very much so. Uh, not everything was always easy growing up. My stepdad came in my life when I was nine. Uh, they married at 13, or when I was 13. And, uh, you know, for a while, me and him butted heads. We, we got into it all the time. Oh, and, perfect age. And then I got into college. Yeah, exactly. I got into college. and. Uh, I started to grow up a little bit. He started to grow up a little bit. And then his faith came along, my faith came along, and we started, now we're really good friends. And it's to the point where I can go to him for anything, and I see him just like I, I see my mom. And, you know, it took a while. It took some time to get there. But sometimes you got to take the, the road less traveled. What is your motto? What is your credo? What is, what is the one thing, if you could leave it in one sentence, to put your stamp on it for people to know about you or know who you are? What's the one thing you could say with that? Uh, I would say football doesn't just make me who I am. The things around me make me who I am. And you can ask anybody, anything around me who I am, and they can tell you who I am.